How's it going guys? Joshua Lufemi here, live from LA. I'm gonna teach you a quick text trick in under 10 minutes. Today I'm gonna to show you how to outline your text in any font. This video is brought to you by Envato Elements, but more on that later. If you wait until the end of the video, I'll give you a promo code that you can put in the link below to get this project file for free. All right, we're here in Premiere, let's get started. All right guys, first things first, make sure you're in your editing workspace and I want to create a new sequence. Do new item, sequence, click OK. Now I'm going to right click, do new item, black video, click OK. Then I'm gonna drag the black video into the sequence that is in the timeline window. This black video is just giving me a black background to build on. Then I'm going to go to my type tool and then I'm gonna create text. Hello. Let's use the position parameters in effects controls to change the position of the text so it's more centered. Now we're gonna go into the text parameters and we can choose any font that we want. I'm gonna keep it on Nimbus Sans. And then we're gonna scroll down to appearance and see where it says fill and stroke. We're going to highlight the text. We're going to check stroke and we're gonna uncheck fill. What we have is no fill and we're left with the outline or the stroke of which we can actually change the size of. So we could bring it all the way down to one, make it be extra skinny, click on it, highlight it, we can change the font to whatever we choose and it will stay outlined. Let's keep going. Let's go back to our original font. Then we're gonna go to effects and we're gonna go to ramp. We're gonna drag the ramp effect onto this clip go into effects controls where the ramp effect shows up. We can choose the colors that this ramp will take place in. So we can have a start color. Let's have that be blue. Do okay. And then I want the end color to just stay white. We can control the ramp look by choosing whether it's a linear ramp or a radial ramp. We're gonna leave it linear ramp and we can kind of hover around. We can scroll through and change the start of the ramp so that the ramp stays more white on the right side and more blue on the other side. And voila, there we go. This is how you add a color ramp to your outline text. Let's keep going. I'm going to delete this ramp off of this text. And now I'm going to click on the text. I'm going to go back into effects controls, go back into appearance, and I'm going to change the color of the stroke. Let's change it back to blue. Oops, nothing happened. That's because we have to highlight it. Highlight the text, click back into stroke, change the color to blue. Now I'm gonna show you how to add a glisten or a shine animation to your text. We're gonna click Alt and drag the clip up to copy it. So now we have two hellos, two text clips, and now on the top hello, I'm gonna actually go back to appearance. I'm gonna first highlight it, then I'm gonna go to stroke, and I'm gonna change that back to white. So now I have a white hello on top of the blue hello. You can't see the blue hello because the white hello is covering it. Then we're gonna go, and we're gonna go over to opacity. Still in effects controls, under video, opacity. And we're going to create a square mask by clicking on this square. There we go. Now what you can see now is we have now masked out the white layer on top. So it's masked out so the white layer is only visible within the mask and underneath this white layer you see the blue layer peeking from underneath that we colored before. So basically what we want is we want to animate this mask so it creates this glisten as it goes through um, to make the hello have this animated sheen. I'm gonna go into the mask and I'm gonna change the mask feather so that it's feathered. Then I'm going to animate it using keyframes. To use keyframes, we're gonna use um, the mask path. So we're gonna click on the stopwatch next to mask path. We're going to set the parameter here, that right now, at this point, let's click on mask. I want the mask to start behind the words. Then I'm gonna drag a little bit further in the clip, and I'm going to create another keyframe. Click back on mask, and I wanna drag the parameter of the mask path to the other side of the hello. So that in between these two keyframes, the mask is gonna animate itself from this parameter over to this parameter. 
beautiful. Last thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to add just a few garnishes or animated elements around your text just to give it an extra pop. These scribble elements that I like to call them are from, you guessed it, Envato Elements. It's an awesome subscription service that gives you access to a library of millions of digital products that you can add to your video editing projects just to give it that extra bump. And if you click on the link beneath this video, you will get the first month for only $9. Click on the link, sign up, then go on to the home page and type scribble elements. Then you're gonna click download. It's gonna download on your computer. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back into your project window and you're going to right click import and you're gonna just import all of the elements that you just downloaded. These are literally just video files. And there we go. This is dope. Look at all of these scribble elements that we can use in so many crazy different ways. We're gonna use these more or less as transitions to transition into this text. Cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to delete this top hello and just be left with this blue hello down in the V2 track. What I then wanna do guys is I actually wanna click on this text and I really honestly wanna change the color of this text, the stroke at least, back to white. Oh, I almost forgot, gotta highlight it first then change the color to white to actually change the text white. And then what I want to do is out of all of these cool scribble animations that we've been looking at, I want to use this one to kind of scribble and transition out of the text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it over. Let's bring it over kind of close to the end of the text. Let's do it like here. There we go. Let's bring it right here, actually. Then as this scribbles in, the text is going to disappear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually click on the text. I'm going to go to effects controls. I want to go over to opacity, draw a circle mask over hello. And then I'm going to create a keyframe at mask path or with the mask path. Then I'm going to go all the way till the scribble kind of gets really small. And I'm going to create another mask path keyframe. I'm going to click on mask and I'm going to make the mask be really, really small so that it basically cuts the hello into nothing. So this is how it's going to look. Hello is now being masked out as the scribble goes over it. Let's see how that looks. One thing I might have to do is I might have to actually go. Let's click on it. I can't make the mask quite small enough, so I'm going to go to opacity. Go back to keyframing. Gonna go back to hello, go back to opacity, and I'm gonna actually keyframe the mask opacity so that it goes to zero. So I'm keyframing both the mask path and the mask opacity. So that just by the end of that mask path keyframe, the opacity just cuts to zero. Anyway, let's delete this keyframe and mask. Perfect. So we're going to play through that now. Perfect. Hello starts like this. And then it masks itself out to nothing as this cool animated element scribbles across the screen. Again, I showed you how to create hollow text. Then I showed you how to add a colored gradient to that text. Then I showed you how to create an animated sheen to that hollowed text. And then I showed you how to transition out of that hollowed text using a crazy cool scribble animated element found in Envato Elements. Thanks so much for watching guys. And as always, remember to keep it chill.